Hello everyone, welcome to Kantai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the bead stitch. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today? We're going to use a category for yarn and a 6 millimeter hook, or at least that's what I'm using. You can use something smaller if you want. Go ahead and make your slip knot and we want to make an um, an even number of chains so I'm going to make 20 chains and when I return I will have 20 chains and we'll continue from there so I have my 20 chains and the loop the uh, loop on your hook does not count as a stitch so you're going to skip that first stitch and go into the next stitch with a single crochet when you get to the end you should have 19 single crochets or whatever number of stitches you're using for your project so I'm going to go ahead and continue and I'll be back so now I have my 20 single crochets and I'm going to chain three and turn my work your chain three counts as a double crochet so we're going to skip that first stitch because that chain counts as a double crochet and go into your next stitch with a double crochet so now we're going to make our way into between that chain and that double crochet and we're going to go in there with some loops so you're going to the loop on your hook counts as one that yarn over counts as two this is three you have three loops on your hook yarn over that makes four loops go into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop that gives you five this is six yarn over pull up a loop that's seven and you're going to yarn over you should have seven loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull that yarn through those loops now you're only going to pull through six loops and when you come out you should have two that second loop includes that yarn over when you pull through those stitches now you're going to make a single crochet on top skip the next stitch go into the following stitch with another double crochet I'm gonna do this bead stitch one more time but slowly so go ahead and we're going into that space again the loop on your hook counts as one when you yarn over that's two go into that space pull up a loop that's three yarn over that's four go into the stitch and pull up a loop that's five and last time yarn over that six yarn over pull up a loop and that is seven one two three four five six seven yarn over and pull through only six loops now you do have to twist it around a little bit but you'll get there yarn over and make a single crochet so repeat that again skip that next stitch go into your stitch with a double crochet and back into between those two stitches again with your B stitch so yarn over and go in that's one time yarn over go in again that's two and yarn over for the final time go in again and that's three so to make it easier on yourself just know that you must yarn over and go into that space three times before you have your seven loops yarn over and make a single crochet and again slip skip go into the next stitch with a double crochet and go ahead and make your loops in between those stitches and if you feel like you've gotten it you can go ahead and pause the video and continue on to the end of the um, row to go to the next row 
If not, I'll just keep going for a few more steps here. And when I come back, I will be right before the end of the row. So I'm skipping another stitch, going in, making a double crochet, and then I'm making my bead stitch again. Yarn over, go in, that's once. Yarn over, go in again, that's two. Yarn over, go in for the final time, that's three. Yarn over and pull through only six loops. If you need to do them a few at a time, you can do that too. It's not a big deal. All right, finally I got it. <laughs> so go ahead and yarn over and make your single crochet. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll be back. So now I'm right before the end. I have three more stitches left. I'm going to skip one, make my double crochet, and go ahead and make my bead stitch. That's one, two, and three yarn overs. Yarn over again and pull through only six. Oh my goodness, I hate when this happens, but I'm used to showing so many times. And make a single crochet. So in your last stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. So when you started your row, you had that chain three that counts as a double crochet. And when you're in your row, you have a double crochet. So chain one and turn your work. You're going to skip that first space and go right into the next space with a single crochet. And now just create single crochet all the way across. For this row, you will start with a single crochet and end with a single crochet. And that's your pattern for this bead stitch. It's pretty simple. You can change out colors if you want to. Make your single crochets one color and make your bead stitches another color. That is completely up to you. I would tell you what you could use this for, but honestly, I would use it for everything. So I'll be back. Now I'm at the end and I'm going into that chain from the previous row. Make sure you go into the very top spit, spit, space, excuse me, that very top stitch there, that very top chain, and make a single crochet. So now if you want to continue, you just go ahead and chain three. And normally if you're my, of a sub subscriber of mine, you know that I only chain two for double crochets. But this is a pattern. This is the bead stitch. So we're going to follow the law. We're going to follow the rules. So I'm making another row of, I'm making another double crochet. Remember, you skip that first stitch because that chain counts as a double crochet. And go ahead and go in with your bead stitch. So I'm hoping that you've gotten it by now. If not, you can always rewind, slow it down. Do what you must do to get this stitch. It's a really cute stitch. So once again, once you make your double crochet, go ahead and go into that stitch three more times. Yarn over and go into the stitch. That's one. Yarn over, go in again. That's two. And the final time, yarn over, go in again. That's three. Yarn over and pull through six loops only. Yarn over and make a single crochet. And you just continue that all the way across. And I'll be back when I get to the end. All right, so this is what we have for our bead stitch. It's a cute stitch, I love it. Um, I can't wait to incorporate it into a garment. So I wanna thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Camp Thai Handmade Crochet. Have a great day. Bye-bye.